Getting ready for the Players' Championship kicks off next week, and News for Jax is teaming up with the players for the Match for Military campaign. Goal is to raise at least $500,000 for local charities. They've taken a big hit since the players have scaled back and scaled down a bit this year. Just to put things into perspective, the players usually raise about $9 million for charities each year. But you know what? It's just not always about the money. It's also about people. And the players is hosting a military job fair tomorrow. And joining me live is Shailen Wilhelm. And Shailen, you actually went to the job fair last year because you and your husband and your family came here, your husband stationed at Mayport, got here just before the pandemic. So tell me the truth. You go to the job fair, did you really think you'd walk away with a job? If I'm being honest, no. I had gone to a couple of job fairs prior to that one and really didn't have terribly positive experiences. But when I got to the Players' Championship job fair, the entire atmosphere was different. Everyone there seemed really passionate about assisting military-connected individuals in finding employment. And I ended up finding the perfect fit for me with the Clay County Board of County Commissioners. That's awesome. And, you know, and then the pandemic settles in. Can you imagine you know, if you didn't have a job and you had to deal with the pandemic and everything that goes along with that? It's a terrible stressor. You come to a new community where you don't have your family and your friends and your network of support and you're unemployed in a global pandemic. It is incredibly stressful. And this event helped me to find my role now as a recruitment specialist. I'll be on the other side of the table where I'm privileged not only to serve the people of Clay County, but to help other veterans active duty members, spouses, and retirees to find their perfect fit. And I'm very excited for that opportunity this weekend. Okay, so now that you're on the other side of the table and you know how it works, for people who may be coming out to that job fair, what's your best advice to them? Bring a resume and just be open to communicating with all of the different employers who are there. Every one of the employers there is really passionate about serving the military who do so much for our country. So we want to help people to find their job. Bring your resume and just come and speak with us. We can't wait to meet you. What do you think the biggest mistake people make is? The biggest mistake is not showing up. You have to get out there, put yourself in front of the employers. They really do want to help you to find your perfect fit and then bring that well-crafted resume that shows us who you are and what your experience is so that we can make sure you end up in the right role and that it's a good fit for you and for the organization and something you can be passionate about. And you know what? Some people sit back and they go, well, you know, I, I don't want to really be egotistical, but everybody's got a certain skill set and things that right. they can do. You, you've got to sell yourself because there's, there's competition out there. Absolutely. It is not a bad thing to toot your own horn when you're at a job fair. Tell us about all of your wonderful qualities and we're going to help you to find that perfect fit because that's what we do. And we want wonderful military connected people in our organizations and the wealth of knowledge that they bring. You know, if you think about it, even if you have been, you know, taking care of the kids and things like that, you've been maybe keeping the books at home. You have been mm -hmm. managing a household. So there are skills there. You know, maybe you've been doing PowerPoint, working on Excel. And it's important to think that way about those skills and how they can translate to the real job world. Absolutely. And employers are very good at looking at resumes and looking at the skills that people have built and certainly taking time to manage a family through multiple transitions, which is a reality for so many of our military families, is not something that someone's going to be penalized for. Tell us what you've been up to and what skills you've honed during that time. And we still want to help everyone to find their right fit. And as far as that resume, you know, the resume that we used to build, you know, five, six years ago is not the same kind of resume that you build today. What are the key things that should be outlined on there? The best resumes that I see highlight people's skills. They show me what technical knowledge they have, what software they can use, what soft skills they've worked hard to develop, and then they list the work history. That lets me see at a quick glance what sorts of jobs they might be the best fit for and helps me to get them moving forward in the process more quickly. And you know what? There's another issue here. Some people kind of show up and Maybe they're not dressed for success. That's kind of important, too, because that first impression is a lasting impression. 
It is. You know, the saying is you only get one chance to make a first impression. And while the dress for the event is business casual, I do recommend stepping it up just a little bit and coming dressed to impress and to sell yourself, like you said, uh, and let these employers and all of us who are there as recruiters see the best that you can put forward and help, help us help you find a fit. And how about follow up? Definitely follow up. Everyone who comes to the job fair will have a flyer with our contact information. Please email us and let us know what you liked about the Clay County Board of County Commissioners and the roles that we have available and where you see yourself fitting so that we can help you through that process and get you in the right job. All right, Shailene, good talking to you. Great advice there. And if you're interested in attending tomorrow's military job fair, here's the information you need. It'll be taking place from 10 to 1, 25 companies, and it's all outdoors, masks required. It's at a new location inside the main entrance of the tournament. All that information is on newsforjax.com.